One of the biggest differences I've seen between Jamaicans and Americans is how different we treat domestic animals, right? Yeah. See, for the typical American, a dog is not just a man's best friend. A dog is a family member and he's treated as such, right? But see, in Jamaica, things are a little bit different, right? See, the typical Jamaican doesn't even have a dog, right? The typical Jamaican have one dog. And if you think that sounds bad, man, just imagine how he gets treated, you know? There is a very popular species of dogs they call mongrels, right? And mongrels are a dime a dozen. Now, you don't buy a mongrel. A mongrel is usually given to you, right? Yeah. Your brethren calls you up, Yo, me gee, wagwan. Yo, you know some dogs just have ten puppy, And you're like, which one? The white and brown one? And he's like, no nah, man, the one that commit suicide. Walk out in front of the vehicle. The black and brown one. Yo, I don't know if she know what the father is, but they look like pretty, you see? So, what you say? You want one? But you're like, well, you kind of have two dogs already still, you know? But he's like, yo, then two dog a dog, my youth. Suppose car kill one and then obey the next one. How you that manage? Yeah? And you're like, ah, never really hear about people or their dogs still, but alright, we'll come for one weekend. But he's like, yo, me never want any them pie, you know. So me make sure I carry your one from early. Yo, check on the van that step is one carton box. And you know some brethren and brethren brought half a go on, so I try them in the zine. Yeah man. See that's how. You accumulate a yard full of mongrel dogs, right? Now, the good thing about these mongrels is that they're pretty tough animals, man. They got a high immunity and they eat just about anything, right? So, whereas the typical American pet owner is going to buy the best dog food he can afford, see, the typical Jamaican mongrel eats only after his owner eats, right? So after the owner is done tearing the flesh off some KFC bones, he goes and opens up the kitchen door to the backyard where usually the dog is anxiously waiting, right? But sometimes he ain't there, man. Sometimes he's gone frolicking through the neighborhood, right? But wherever he may be, there is something mesmerizing about the sound of a fork scraping against a ceramic plate that sends him running from wherever he may be, right? <laughs> oh yeah. But see, now he's got competition, man. Because every other dog in the neighborhood is gonna come running with him, right? So when the owner throws the balls into the air, it's gonna be like the NBA, man. He's gotta reach up like Michael Jordan, and he's gonna take that down with a slam dunk, right? Yeah, man. He's gotta take it down before some other dog gets to it, yeah? That's how the Jamaican mongrel gets fed.